Let's start with Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, uh, Jenny. Very, very damn requested. We like it when they show love to the dancers. I know, it's so cool. It's all in English. It's happening oh my god, they're replicating that scene from that movie. Rush hour. Oh, you go, girl, flunted. Hey, why is everyone making runway music? In English. Ooh, looks though. I see it. I see you. I see you. <laughs> she quit, mate. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> what? Like the layers. That was unnecessary, and I like it. Go, oh, Jay. Damn, she moves so good. Oh, this is giving white 2 okay? k Why is this Art. the vibe? I am loving this vibe. Nice, pretty girl mantra. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, dude, no, she that is was so mad. Attract, yeah, that's the my that only concern. So but she is mad attractive. Get fucked. I uh, totally, a hundred percent hot, oh my hot, hot, gosh. hot, hot. But you know what? It's given. Uh, uh, it's maybe because I just saw Lisa in the wrong way for. Oh my, secrets, bro! But, what a time to be it's alive! But literally, like, it's so hot. Why is everybody just model level here? Like, what is happening? Well, that is one of the biggest advantages of Blackpink in general. Like, I know. Jenny's always been one of the most attractive and sort of she portrays very well on camera. I also um, think like she very was charming. The, she was the footprint for like the idol look for so well, long when nowadays she, when if you want the debuted. it girl like uh, people that are sort of trying to become the it girl in sort of the fifth generation i'm pretty sure they copy yeah, the footprint it has to this be Jen, girl you know? over here mr jen so uh jenny Mrs. jenny kim and not not jen no bts <laughs> <I was like, laughs> <what>? <laughs> super Judah. <laughs> um super jenny um <laughs> <laughs> so um. very interesting as well it is becoming very obvious what i think members of blackpink both uh, lisa independently and jenny because i think this is very much independent right yeah I think uh, so. and i also think tanu muino was the director oh uh, awesome i think it's number is, two uh, trending in the uk no, at the moment. and she already won and a countdown this is our first solo win. Oh, well, I gotta tell you this. Like yesterday, like a few hours I, ago. I gotta tell you this. Is this gonna chart well and is this 100%. going to be immensely replayable? It has very high replayable value because the song is so short. Also, one of the ways artists nowadays are sort of getting way more streams and the numbers, are, you know, are just ridiculous. It's because there's such replayability to a lot of this music. Very much pop. Uh, you know, she is understandably so similar to what's going on with Lisa. Uh, they are pop icons, and I think it's about time that sort of Korean pop idols, because they have the training, they have the, the, the sort of the pedigree. I think they could really eat in the in the in the Western market very well. And all they needed was the right tracks, the right production, and the English tracks to sort of follow along. And they've done it. I you actually know? really love the fact that in this particular track, which didn't need to, by the way, which is the reason why I There's like it. There's some complexity Correct. here, wasn't it? This is, yes. this is deceptively simple, but it's actually quite an interesting track, especially that very, later half. It's a very cohesive track because especially the opening with the chorus, which is a, a heavy... A, rap like dialogue section of the song mm -hmm. it's kind of like a statement we're making we're making a boom here the second half of this of the track when she when you start to integrate some dynamics in, in musically in musically speaking mm. you have the whispery layers with a chromatic scale of, of of vocals happening in the background rhythmically speaking it's tasty enough to keep you motivated throughout the whole song if you know what i mean it, it really it really it engages you correct. really fast and it, you don't get tired of this type of sound no. it's very y2k early 2000s kind of like um a sound aesthetic when it comes to the beat production so it is a a deal with columbia records mm -hmm. in collaboration with Oda Atelier, which is her own label mm -hmm. uh, which she founded last year after leaving yg entertainment um, so this is the beginning. I am really interested is in what the album? projects are going to look like for the girls. I don't know if this is an album. I genuinely have no idea. Fantastic to see my friend that she was involved in the writing of her own solo stuff. Always like to see it. Uh, very, very well done in that sense. Actually, so producers wise, who, who do we have there? 
Pablo Díaz. Oh. Eh, más conocido, el músico nació, he's a Spanish musician, not Latin really American, cool. he's like Spanish. From, from Spain. From, Spain. And uh, he did from the motherland for us Latin. <laughs> And he did, he did everything. He did basically all the Synth, instrumentalization. bass, drums, all That the percussion. That is so cool. And then in terms of production, El Guincho again. Okay, doesn't doesn't surprise me there. Servan, I'm not familiar with him. Well, Jelly Dorman, Jumper. Of Hispanic Hispanic influences here, and I I wanted to say that the LA scene there. maybe. Yeah, I I wanted to say so. There are some like like Latin Latin yeah, musical this... influences here in terms of like the the instrumentalization, especially the cowbell kind of sound with with the rhythmicality of of the production of the of the track. It could be. It certainly nice, is. Though. It certainly feels like that. Um. Obviously been, being received very well. I am intriguing on what a project would look like. And most importantly as well, from our sort of pure musician perspective, I would like to see this live. Oh, yeah. See how you would put out this type of really pop track. And again, it's deceptively comp deceptively simple track. But it's actually, if you write, bring the right singers, you bring the right band, you let Jenny be Jenny. I uh, genuinely think this could be One of the strongest live ones. This uh, could, this could actually, this is possible. This similar, is, possible, is possible that life. Agreed. Uh, I, like possible in the sense of like, she could sound the best she possibly can Correct. here. Similar to like Spot with Chico. Uh, mm -hmm. I think those types of songs that she's getting involved in are showcasing that actually the girl's quite like uh, quite capable. Not only capable, but she's quite interested in not just making sort of just normal pop music. Mm -hmm. She wants to add a little bit of you know a, a spice musically. Very intriguing.